Year-old Molly Bish disappeared from Cummins Pond in Warren, where she was working as a lifeguard. Her body was then recovered in Palmer in 2003, but the case is still open. Decades later, her family continues seeking justice, asking new investigators to take over the case. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us live in studio with more. Olivia. Chris, Molly's older sister Heather Bish wrote this two-page letter with what she calls an unusual request asking for her sister's case to be moved from the Worcester District Attorney's Office to the Hamden District Attorney's Office. She hopes doing this will allow the case to progress forward, getting her sister the closure and justice she deserves. On June 9, 2000, 16-year-old Molly Bish disappeared from her lifeguard stand at Cummins Pond in Warren. Three years later, almost to the day, June 9, 2003, her remains were recovered in Palmer. I loved her. She was my baby sister. She was very, very loved, and she deserves someone, no matter how hard it is, to to continue to fight. Years later, the case remains open and unsolved. Molly's older sister, Heather Bish, tells Western Mass News that the Worcester District Attorney's Office has been working on the case for 16 years. So Heather took matters into her own hands. We most recently sent a letter to the Massachusetts District Attorney's Association requesting the movement of Molly's case from Worcester County to Hamden County. With no conclusion in sight, Heather explains she would like Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni to take a look into the investigation. Knowing how DA Galuni has been working with private labs and, you know, getting resolution in some of these older cases and kind of working in partnership with different resources, um, we were very, we're very interested in working with him. As time is of the essence. People in this case are dying. Many of the witnesses have passed on from, from this point. In the letter, Bish outlines why she believes the move is necessary, including disruptions in the tip lines for Molly's case and the handling of her sister's crime scene. She explains the only evidence in the investigation originates from the recovery of Molly's remains three years later, and she wants more experts involved. We've asked them to work with the National Center. We've asked them to do behavior analysis on Molly and the perpetrator. We've asked them to consult with um, various experts we've been able to have the great fortune to meet in the work that we've done through the foundation. Recently, I had asked them to work with um, some DNA experts from across the country or the world, actually. They're world-renowned experts. And this is important to me because, again, we're talking about evidence that has been out in the, you know, in outside for a, a long period of time. And I'm concerned that if, if they test it you know, it's not going to be preserved. Heather also says she was hoping for more communication with the Worcester DA's office. You could tell me where my evidence is going and who's testing it and what experts are working on it, because that's important to me, understanding what's going to happen to this case. But in the meantime, Heather will continue to work for her sister's justice. These guys are going to retire in some time, but I'm never going to retire from this case. It is always going to be my responsibility to help find this person who did this to my sister. And I will always fight for her. She deserves that. Now, Western Mass News has learned that the Massachusetts District Attorneys Association does not have the authority to transfer cases between jurisdictions. We reached out to the Worcester District Attorney, Joseph Early's office for comment, and they shared the following statement that reads in part, quote, this case and all unresolved homicides are a priority for our office. We understand that this is a grieving family and that their pain will never go away. While our office and all district attorney's offices work to keep families informed, we are unfortunately not able to accommodate every request for information. In order to maintain the integrity of the investigation, the state police cannot always release all relevant information. Anyone with information on the Molly Bish case can reach out to the DA's anonymous tip line at 508 453 